Chickies. Today we're at Whistle Thicket and we're gonna check out their farm and that's who we're hanging out with today. Say hi. hi. Hey guys, hi. how's it going? <laughs> hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, guys. Okay, well I'm Tom. I'm Amy. I'm Rowan. We have had our farm for about three years. We have horses, we have fainting goats, we have a pet pig, we have chickens, we have a tree house, we have a garden and awesome. we just like this type of lifestyle. Um, it's something we all enjoy doing, even if we don't like the same stuff about homesteading, we all love to homestead together and it's a fun family activity. We don't put them on the leash that often. It's kind of cool in like the morning they'll follow us from their night pen to the front pasture and they just know what to do, you know? Yeah. So we're hanging out with the goats. Tom's going to talk to me about goats. I, I know nothing about goats. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three goats. They are fainting goats. So they do faint if you scare them, like with a chainsaw, a drill. If you jump, they'll fall over sometimes. Okay, hold on. So have you seen the actual goat faint? Oh yeah, lots of times, really? lots of times. Like, um, they, like they just like drop? Yeah, um, they don't actually faint, but yeah. they will tense up their muscles and fall over like that. Wow. So they will even faint if they get really excited. Like if I bring them food, sometimes they'll faint. We are gonna have some babies soon. So. So this is Olga. She's our female goat. She is pregnant. She is probably going to have a set of twins in the next couple weeks. And there's nothing cuter than a baby fainting goat. So we're super excited to have some new babies on the farm. This is Nero. He is a um, male. He's neutered, so he's a weathered male. He's a lot more friendly than our buck. This is Romeo. He's the dad of our future babies. He's friendly, but he is a buck. They're just fun animals. I actually take them on hikes in the fall. Uh, they followed me to the top of, the, of our property, which is about a mile hike, so that's a fun right. um, experience with our goats. So are you gonna... Is there a plan to milk the goats or what are you going to do with them like? These are not the type of goats you would milk normally. These okay. are mainly a, I guess, novelty goat. They are a, a meat goat, mm -hmm. um, but for us they're mainly just pets. We take them on hikes. Um, okay. They do eat some weeds for us. What I really want to do is I want to get some portable fencing. We might try to milk Olga once or twice as soon as she has her babies for the fun of it. I think Amy is hoping to make some soap. So ideally you would want to just like rotate them on portable fencing instead of keeping them in one spot too long? Yes. Like how often would you like rotate them? I would probably rotate them like every other day. Okay. Um, this is about an acre 
So they have an acre of fresh grass and weeds to eat. Yeah. And then they have their other pen, which is like a quarter acre. And then in the spring and winter, um, I will go around, well, I guess in the spring and fall, I will go around and I'll cut branches and they love eating branches. So with goats, you just want to have a lot of different yeah. food. But with, with these, would you have to electrify the fence? The yeah. The um, fencing? Yeah. So I'd have to have a fence that's electric. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how common that is with um, goats that have horns. I need to research that more. Um, so they would probably just faint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the first time they would probably faint and then hopefully they would stay away from the fence. But yeah, they would probably faint. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You gonna ride that horse, Penelope? Yeah. All right. Penelope. Who's that for the pig? Yeah, this is pig snacks. He's nice and muddy. It's been a hot day. What's her name? Her name is Stella. She's a mini pig. The uh, one rule with pigs is that you don't put your hands by her mouth when she's eating. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. Yes. <laughs> thank you for having us, man. Uh, thank your you. Your place it's is awesome. Blast. Your place is awesome. That's what we like about this whole area. You guys are not that far from us. That's what we fell in love with when we first moved here is the community. You know, everyone's kind of like-minded and it's just really great to meet new people and just to get out there in the community and just kind of hang out and see what you got going on. And I really appreciate you inviting us over here. And yeah, uh, we had a blast. It was yeah. an awesome afternoon. So thanks for coming. Yeah, for sure. If you guys want to check out, they have a YouTube channel, Whistle Thicket. Check it out. I'll put the link down in the show notes. And I appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>